Hello, everyone, and welcome to the daily newspaper analysis. So let's see that which articles we will discuss today. So we have one article from the Indian Express, which has been titled as right to be forgotten. So we all know about this right much heard, but still we do not have in our country it as, as a matter of right. So right to be forgotten, basically, we will discuss about it. What is the importance of it? And why is it high time for India to definitely have this in a concrete form? The next article is from the Hindu newspaper, which is titled as Treating the Elderly Properly. So definitely we need to treat our elders properly. So what, uh, you know, uh, challenges will India be facing in the coming times and what steps can be taken in this direction will be discussed here. This newspaper analysis has been presented by me. My name is Sheva Khan. I am a BA LLB law graduate and I have completed my law degree from Uttaranchal University with a gold medal in my batch. I have also been a national debater and a public speaker and currently at Law Seco, I'm working as an expert for current affairs and I'm also managing the current affairs vertical. Let's see what is the multiple choice question from our previous discussions. Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana was launched by Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi on. Your options are 1st May 2016, 1st May 2017, 1st May 2018, or none of the above. You can write down your answer in the comment section below. This is the descriptive question for the day. What do you understand by right to be forgotten? Do you think India should have it too? So this is the first article of the day, which talks about right to be forgotten. So basically, the center has acknowledged that right to be forgotten is a part of the fundamental right, but not it has still not been backed by any Indian statute. So let's understand that what is the right to be forgotten and how has it been protected in other countries? Basically, generally, if we try to understand the right to be forgotten, the name itself is, uh, you know, it's uh, giving us an, a small kind of an explanation that it will be our right that we can ask someone to forget us. Now, forget us as in what sense or what that person or that thing should forget about us and who is this someone that we are talking about. Basically, right, it's a right of a person to have his personal information deleted from the internet. So as we know that a lot of times our personal information is available on the internet, like for example, now I wish that nothing of this sort should be available. If uh, let's say somebody is typing my name on Google, now I don't want that any information about me should be flashed. In this case, I should have the right to be forgotten. And so I will urge or I will just request or put in a request in the similar fashion. And that information shall be erased or shall be taken off from the internet. So this is the right of a person, which is his right to be forgotten. So if we note that European Union recognizes the right to be forgotten and the same has been enshrined in the GDPR as well. The GDPR basically is the General Data Protection Regulation. So Article 17 of the General Data Protection Regulation allows an individual to request the deleting of certain personal data from the internet. So if a person makes a request for deletion of data, not necessary for public welfare, the organization is entitled to delete it. So if at all the organization believes that such data is not something that is very significant for the public welfare so that organization shall and it is on duty bound basically to uh, delete that particular personal information of that particular person now let's understand that what has been india's position on the right to be forgotten so the right to be forgotten has been recognized as very much being a fundamental right in the case put swami judgment that also brought right to privacy as the fundamental right under article 21 of the indian constitution so the government claims that the personal data protection bill Please note here that it is still a bill. So the personal data protection bill also contains the provision to recognize this right. But since it is still a bill and has not become an act so far, so we do not have it, you know, or maybe we are not able to exercise it in the complete concrete sense. So as of May 2019, Justice Pratibha M. Singh of Delhi High Court held that right to be forgotten and right to be left alone are inherent to rights to privacy. And as of January 2017, Karnataka High Court issued orders to hide the name of the woman in the case in 2015. So Odisha High Court as well has also stated that allowing videos that attack the modesty of a woman should be pulled down in any situation. And that is why you must be noticing that many times such videos are available on YouTube and stuff. And that is why this they may, might also amount to outraging the modesty of a woman. And that is why they should also be taken down. So if we consider the present situation or the present case, uh, uh, why this question has been discussed. So there were petitioners that sought removal of their names from the orders for which either they have been acquitted or they have served the punishment already. So there is also an actor who wishes to have his photos of drunken driving removed. 
So the lawyers are aware that the absence of a statute is a problem since firstly, any order passed might clash with the people's right to know. Secondly, it might tamper with the functioning of certain platforms. So that is why a right balance has to be drawn between the right to information and also the right to privacy of another person. With this, let's discuss the second article for the day, which talks about treating the elderly properly. So the tensions of a population explosion have now changed to happiness over demographic dividend. Now, as we know that we in this, as a nation have been discussing and have been exhaling a, a lot of, you know, a, a happiness about having the demographic dividend. So if you understand demographic dividend basically is that how much or what benefit that we can yield from the demography, that is the population of the country. And since India is the young Young population has the you know the largest young population of the world. India is considered to be as the youth or the young country as in a globe. So we definitely have a great chance of uh, you know realizing the demographic dividend. This shows lower dependency ratio, which will give a push to the economic growth of the country. Now, when we talk about the dependency, so basically, as we know that like children and elderly, they are dependent on the other uh, members of their family or other people of the society for themselves. You know for taking care of themselves or stuff like that. So if at all, the, the larger portion of the population would be young people of the young people. So definitely they will be not dependent on other people and they will have a greater capacity to add to the economic growth of the country. But here we also have challenges that would be arising shortly due to the old population that we might have in the coming times. So according to the National Family Health Survey, it predicts that we will have a significant old population by 2031, that is in the coming 10 years. So if at all we have the time to realize a demographic dividend, so it is only for these 8 to 10 years because after that there is a significant chance that we will have a huge portion of our population in the category of old population. So such a great amount of old population would mean an invaluable source of experience and knowledge, but at the same time, we will also have some significant challenges coming to our face. Firstly would be the healthcare. So presently, 11% elderly suffer from a type of locomotor disease, which means that they need some assistance to even move from one place to another. 58 lakhs die due to non-communicable diseases. So the prevalence of cardiovascular diseases is 34% between the age group of 60 to 74 years. Hence, the immediate challenge is to provide quality medicine facility to old population so that this population or this age group does not at all become the burden on the economic growth or otherwise growth of the nation as well. And they can cater to their own needs for themselves. And the second one is the inadequate schemes. So an overwhelming number of the elderly people are lower income strata. So most of them, you know, because of course, the lower strata people are higher in population as well. So most of the people who are in the elderly portion of, of, of the uh, population, they come from the lower income strata. So their inability to earn a livelihood furthers their pain. Government schemes that are there to take care of the elderly have not been adequate. So Niti Aayog report states that over 400 million Indians do not have financial cover for health expenses, which is definitely huge. So a status report filed in the Supreme Court shows that 16 states and union territories have no beds or wards dedicated solely to the elders. And definitely if we are not able to provide them with the right facilities in the coming time. So we will definitely need good beds and good wards and also good medical facilities also available for the elderly people. Now, there are further challenges that the old population would have to face because India needs to take certain measures, uh, measures for the pro-elderly environment, which is actually friendly for the elderly people. We need to increase the spending in public health care for the elderly. So in the next three decades, that is in the coming 30 years, 3 million beds, 1.5 million doctors and 2.4 million nurses can be added to the complete force of the doctors and you know the healthcare that we have and uh, we can also implement the programs like national program for healthcare of the elderly ayushman bharat and also we have a pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana uh, they also needs to be expanded and we have the national digital health mission under which we need to spearhead the inclusion of the old population at a fast rate so this was all for the day. We hope it was a good session for you all. Thank you so much for staying tuned with Law Seco. If you wish to download the PDF of today's slides, please join our Telegram channel. The link is there in the description box below, or you can scan the QR code that you can see on your screens right now. Also, please do not forget to follow us on our Instagram channels. And if you like this discussion, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.